you review the day? <laughs> I don't know. What day is it? Uh, <laughs> is it Thursday? <laughs> um, you know, that was a tough practice. And um, we did some good things, and we did some things right. that we can't do. And I think getting the consistency DJ, is an important thing. DJ. You've got to be able to do it day in and day out. And, uh, build this program on a blue, blue-collar blue mentality. And uh, I think there's a, a, a bunch of guys that are trying to do that. We've just got to continue to show them the way. Coach Jarrell Rhodes missed so many games last year. How's he looking so far this year? Well, I think Jarrell had a really good summer. Um, just looking at his body, I think he's slimmed down a little bit and uh, seems to have a little spring in his step. Um, you know, the key for Jarrell will be consistency, kind of like what I'm talking about. It's just day in and day out, staying after it, and keep working hard. Akeem Davis, just how versatile of a player is he? Well, you know, the thing about Akeem is he plays with fanatical effort and is incredibly intelligent. And uh, I think the, you know, the, you know, he, I would say that he's like a quarterback out there. You know, understands what's going on, makes calls, makes checks, and um, you know, is a very valuable uh, guy to have on the team, both in the locker room and on the field. Bobby McCain, does he continue to impress? Yeah, Bobby's doing a really good job. I, I really like Bobby. I like the way he plays the game. I like the way he comes to work every day. Uh, he's a physical, tough corner. Um, that's that just comes out here with a lunch pail and ready to go to work. Uh, speaking of going to work, you ready to get in full pads tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not a huge difference for us. I mean, there are some differences, but um, it will be good to put the put the full pads on tomorrow and come out of here and and wrestle around a little bit and see how it goes. Will it start a bit of separation as far as the players are concerned, though, to get into full pads? What's that? Will it start a level of separation as far as the players are concerned and depth is? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. You know, um, you know, we're we're just you know continuing to evaluate. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, but you know, we won't probably bring bring guys to the ground much tomorrow, anyways. You know, we won't do that unless we're scrimmaging. So uh, it won't be a huge huge difference. Defensively, it looks like you got some pretty good play. Uh, at least at the start of the Well, when we went to uh, – the thing I told the defense is, is we have to be uh, every down players. We we were not as dominant, quite honestly, as we have been on first down today on defense. But then on third down, you know, I don't know that we converted very many. You know, they did a pretty good job. So, um, you know, they've just got to – they've got to overcome those lulls and, and be ready to play the next play. You see, you, you've talked about Marcus Rucker and kind of each day you see him out here. You, you like him more and more that you're getting from him? Uh, I really like uh, Marcus's mindset right now. Um, you know, I, I think he's, I don't know. I, I don't I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I, I, I think he's out here trying to do do it right, and I'm proud of him for it. Um, and he has some talent, but he, and he is – trying to do things the way we would like for him to do it, and that's encouraging. Because when you have a veteran like that, if he can step in and step Sure, up. he's got game experience. He's played. And, um, obviously, he's from the city, and uh, you know, it can be a, a huge, huge asset for us.